Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Caitlin, if we haven't already met, and thank you so much for being here today. I will facilitate your slow flow and deep stretch practice, and I will encourage you to have a yoga block to support your back in supported bridge pose. However, if you don't have a yoga block, no stress, no worries, you can start your practice fully reclined on the back. So with that block in hand, lie all the way down onto your back body. Please take your time in getting there. You bend into your knees, lift your hips, and slide that single block at either first or second setting right underneath your sacrum. Lots of variations with the legs, traditional and most stable, bent knees, flat feet. But if you'd like to further expand the front body, you extend your legs out forward and outward. Slide your shoulders down your upper back and elongate your arms. Catch your balance on your middle finger knuckles. Right, the hands don't fold in or out. You find the center. And you allow your eyes to close without squeeze, without strain. In that choice, you eradicate visual distraction and start to draw your attention inward. Without feeling rushed, start to deepen your inhale, fill up all the way down to the belly and the lift of your hips. And then lengthen out your exhale, soften the belly and soften the hips. As you lie here quietly, you give yourself permission to rest, to relax, and to slow down. And with your body breathing in a strategic way, in through the nose, down to the belly and the hips, feel the fullness at the top. And then out through the nose, you soften the belly, soften the hips, feel emptiness at the very bottom. And while physically the front line of your body is open, energetically the heart is open. You take advantage of the open quality in the heart and you clarify your intention or intentions for today's practice. And whether that's a single word or a short phrase, you tailor this generic yoga practice to your body's wants and needs. With your intention and heart and breath in your belly, if you feel that you would like more time and supported bridge, certainly you stay as you are. But if there's a readiness to move on, bring a bend into your knees if that's not already there. Once you feel stable through all four corners of both feet, Drive into your heels to lift your hips. Remove that block, but keep your hips lifted and press your palms down. Spread your fingers, alive in the arms, and press the backs of your shoulders into your mat. Keep that strong height of your hips for one more big inhale. Exhale to slowly lower the hips. You tuck the pelvis under to articulate your spine. As your tailbone touches the mat, constructive rest. Toe heel your feet about mats with distance or just inside. Angle your toes inward and knock your inner bent knees together to touch. While your neck is soft, stretch your arms open, big capital T. Come back to that balance point of the middle finger knuckles. And just take a few breaths, allowing your low spine to settle into the ground. Keep your feet wide and your knees bent. Drop your bent knees over to the left. Any amount, you gaze to the right, twist your neck and twist your throat. A mild twist and release for your low back body. And I'd like to offer up the lens of curiosity 
What does it feel like to be in your body right now? Whether it's really challenging or it feels like home, you practice breathing with and through your human experience. You practice breathing with and through whatever is revealed today. Slow to lift your bent knees and gaze through center, and then drop your bent knees over to the right. Keep the neck soft as you gaze to the left. Maintain the balance on your middle finger knuckles. The spaciousness in your jaw and the deliberate flow of breath in and out through the nose. On your inhale, lift your bent knees and gaze through center. Your exhale, hug both knees into your chest. In a full wind relieving pose, your inner knees can stay together. However, if you run into some tightness or resistance in the hip flexors, you can pull the knees wide. In a very soothing sway and cradle to the right and to the left, notice how the pressure shifts the backs of your hips, your back ribs, and shoulder blades. And any movements that you go through today, nothing is meant to feel jerky, rushed, or erratic. If that starts to be the case for you, then simply dial down your range in motion and decide to do a little less, to inherently feel a little bit more. And then find the middle with your knees at your chest. Place your hands on your kneecaps. Inhale, straighten your legs up towards your ceiling. Flex your feet strong. Exhale to bend your knees and hug them tightly into the heart. A few more like this. Inhale, legs lengthen, feet flex strong. Exhale, rebend your knees and hug them to the heart. One more time, slow and steady. Inhale, straight legs. And exhale, bend into your knees. Take a full body stretch. Elongate your arms overhead and extend your legs forward. Your hands are about shoulder width legs about hips width, and take some rotations into your ankles and into your wrists simultaneously. What does it feel like to be in these parts of your body? And if you haven't already switched the direction of those smaller joint rotations, You'll work into banana pose on the right. Walk your hands and your heels over to the right side of your space. So imagine a banana lying on its side or a crescent moon shape, fingers to toes. If it feels helpful, let your right hand grab your left wrist. Twist the neck, gaze to the left. Option to cross your left ankle over your right. Please be sure to stay grounded through the back of your left hip and shoulder while you practice breathing a little wider. And I'd like to remind you that staying with the breath, it's so far from easy, but it's incredibly simple. As many times as your attention divides and you start thinking about your to-do list or something that's happening around you, you start reflecting on the past or getting curious about the future, please give yourself space and grace to begin again. That simplicity of staying with the breath as it moves through your body right here, right now. And through the length of your left side, a wide breath in. Exhale to release. And take your banana pose all the way over to the left. And journey your hands and your heels inch by inch 
over to the left side of your space. Maybe your left hand grabs your right wrist. Twist your neck, gaze to the right. And then your right ankle crosses over your left. Release your right glute muscle in the back of your right shoulder, softening into the ground. There's nothing rushed. There's nothing unsteady around the breath. And through the length of your right side, take a wide breath in. Exhale to release and come back to center. Ardha Apanasana, half wind relieving pose. Hug your right knee in towards your chest and keep your left leg long the length of your mat. Reset the length in the back of your neck. Tuck the chin down. The base of your skull draws upward. Take a few rotations again into the ankles. Both directions, notice what you feel. And without expectation, interlace your fingers on right hamstrings, flex both feet, and straighten your right leg any amount. Any amount. If there's a lot of freedom, it would be incredibly straight. But if there's a lot of soreness or tightness, you would have a deep bend in your right knee, and you just find that sweet spot of where you feel the hamstrings come to life. And then you start to practice breathing with and through whatever you feel. Stay for your in-breath. Exhale, figure four on the right. Bend your left knee, left foot to floor. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Your left foot can stay on the mat, that's perfectly fine. Or lift your legs and take an active bind. Fingers interlace on left hamstrings or your left shin. Neck long, head heavy. The breath is meditative and smooth. You'll know, keep your figure four legs, but stretch your arms open in a big capital T. Take a breath into that change. Exhale, supine twist. Guide your figure four over to the left. Stamp the sole of your right foot on the ground. Twist the neck, gaze to the right. And just notice how this second spinal twist lands in your body today. Feel what is and acknowledge impermanence. The ebb and flow, the rise and fall of sensation in relation to the breath. On your inhale, lift your figure four through center. Exhale, Shavasana. We take corpse pose to observe. Elongate your four limbs. Shrug the shoulders down, close your eyes, draw attention inward, and feel the settling of the right leg in comparison to the left. Subtle changes, something really grand, really strong. And a little more connected to your body, stay for your inhale. Exhale, Ardha Apanasana on the left. Hug your left knee in towards your chest. Relax the shoulders. Soften your neck, please. And then you interlace your fingers on left hamstrings behind your left leg. 
Take those ankle rotations in both directions. Keep your left knee bent for a deep breath in. Exhale, straighten your left leg any amount. This side might look different, it might feel different. Please be open to that. Keep the chin below the forehead so your neck is soft and long. Whether your left leg is perfectly straight or really bent, the breath is steady. It is absolutely unharmed, untouched. And that's how you know you have found that sweet spot of sensation. Nothing is jarring, nothing is jamming. Last few breaths to the belly of your left hamstrings, please. Stay as you are for your breath in. Exhale, figure four on the left. To bend your right knee, cross left ankle over right thigh. Right foot can stay on the mat or lift and take your active bind. Right hamstrings or right shin, you interlace the fingers. But the neck remains soft. And if your right foot is off the ground, there's a heaviness in the tailbone, an active press of the tailbone down. Bring back that lens of curiosity as you smooth out the breath on this side. Keep your figure four, but stretch the arms open, big capital T, a big breath in. Exhale, figure four twist, drop the legs over to the right. Stamp the sole of your left foot on the ground, twist your neck and gaze over to the left. Find that balance on your middle finger knuckles. The natural curl in the fingers without over effort as you both deepen and widen the breath. Narrow your attention back to this moment. Inhale, lift your legs through center. Exhale to Shavasana. As you adopt the pose a second time, remember you are here to observe. Soft shoulders, closed eyes, and a wonderfully steady breath down to the belly. You firm your low back into your mat, hug your knees into your chest. Start to rock and roll the length of your spine. Start rather conservative, really small, focusing on the middle back. And then eventually become a little more courageous with that from the shoulder blades to the tailbone. Most courageous, brainstem to the tailbone. But your spine is really round. That way it's smooth when you rock and roll forward and backward. You're here for three. Keep the smooth rocks forward and backward for two. And one. You'll tightly cross at your ankles. Roll all the way through to tabletop. Come to your hands and knees. Inhale, cow pose. Drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, sink your hips to your heels and melt your forehead towards the floor. Inhale, stand on your knees. Arms high, gaze is high. Exhale, downward facing dogs. Secure your hands to lift your hips. Four movements. Inhale, cow pose. Drop to the knees, lift the heart. 
Exhale, hips to your heels, forehead to the floor. Inhale, stand on your knees, arms high, hips forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, cow pose. Lift the heart, firm your hands. Exhale, hips to the heels, chin to the chest. Inhale, stand on your knees, sweep the arms, lift your eyes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keep the height on your hips, the length of your spine. And then as you strategically reorganize the breath, I will count you down for five, four, three, firm through your inner hands and grip your finger pads, two, one more big inhale to lift your hips, exhale child pose, big toes together, knees wide, hips back. And at this point in your practice, your spine has moved in six different directions. You started the practice in a back bend, Eventually, you worked into a mild and gentle spinal twist to the right and to the left. Thereafter, you had your banana pose, your side body stretches to the right and to the left. And in the rocks and rolls forward and backward, now in child pose, your spine in a forward bend. After all of those postures and sensations, notice what it feels like now to be in your body. While there's no expectation, there certainly is hope that you feel a little more connected to yourself and a little more alive in your own body. If you'd like to close this practice in child pose, please stay as you are. Otherwise, you meet me upright in Sukhasana, easy seated pose. Let your ankles cross and your knees drop down as you join your hands together in Anjali Mudra at the heart. Set your gaze on something small and unmoving or close your eyes. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be safe. May all beings know peace. May all beings find their freedom. May all beings move through the world with ease. And my hope for you is that your practice, your healing is continuous, and your heart steady and of benefit to all beings. To both seal and share, take a deep breath in. Open mouth exhale. With an abundance of love and gratitude extended to you, we close the practice with a collective bow. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. My name is Caitlin. With any questions, comments, feedback, do let me know in the comment section below. Thank you again for being here today, and I hope that you found benefit from today's practice. I hope to see you in my next video, and take care of yourself. Bye.